You live in this absolutely amazing, magical place next to a lake. And how long have you been here for? I have lived here about 10 years now. It's quiet and it's relaxing. And place to work, where do you mostly do everything from your home? I do my woodwork. I've got a workshop for that, which is about 100 meters from my house. And then I do all the painting in my house, uh, mostly right. at night when my child is asleep. Um, so I am blessed to be a mom that can work from home. When I design a house, it depends on what the client's budget is, whether it's going to be two rooms or four rooms or six or nine is the biggest ones I make. And then when they say, say four room is the most popular one, and I've got about six different shapes of four room houses that I make. So yeah, it all depends on what the customer would like. And what is the first stage of production of a doll's house? Okay, I draw up the plants, um, the wood I need to cut. I use 9mm super wood. 33, another one of 33. Then I've made a template of the windows, so it's easy to cut out. It's because I make lots of houses. It's 10 centimeters from the bottom and 10 from the side. Just like that. I draw a line there for the second story. And second window. And the same for the other panel. The reason for the super wood is it's easy to work with. It's quite a soft wood, so it cuts easy. I use a jigsaw or bandsaw. The nails use a nail gun. The nails go in easy, um, and it's really easy to finish off.
sketches. I just cut off the edge where I made the hole. Find a halfway. It's about 12 centimeters. So in the middle. And just mark it off. Same with all four. And the next stage then, once you've cut all the pieces, is putting the house together. I then put the house together, yes. Um, I use normal um, wood glue uh, and then 25 millimeter nails, nail gun. Um, and then when there is balconies, I will use um, screws, but I prefer using the nail gun. It's a strong finish and then um, once you add the back as well, it makes it more sturdy. Okay, so this is where you actually need somebody to help you. Because I'm so used to doing it on my own.
Once again, this is where you normally need help, but just above the line. So we'll make the roof 22 by 48. Okay, so 22 by 48. is the front where the roof is complete and then take three millimeter right board because I'm going to make them different colors, the background. And then I'm just going to sort that out.
But I prefer to use um, a water-based PVA. Um, in South Africa we get a Plascon Valvaglow, which is a good brand. Um, it's got a varnish. So if there is spills in the house and if it does get dirty, it's easy to wipe down. And how do you choose the colours? The colours? The customer gives me a basic colour. Or the little girl says she wants her house so pink and purple like this one. And then I just mix my own colours to make them all unique. They're all different. I can never find do the same colour twice. Yes. So how many coats of paint does the, each house get? Uh, generally two coats, I would say. Um, sometimes if it's white, the wood does come through, so you need three, three layers. But uh, mostly two layers. What sort of brushes do you use? I prefer artist brushes um, rather than rollers. I know roller is easy, but for me to cut in, it's just neater with the brushes. And painting is quite relaxing. And How long does it generally take you to paint a three, four bedroom house? Um, the four, four bedroom. bedroom house to paint the house is about three hours. Um, I paint and then I do the, the other colour, so the roof and the shutters, and then I go back to where I made mistakes and I paint over that. And, yeah. Watch is like wood glue, but just diluted with a bit of water. So it just sticks the paper on neatly and then you put a layer on afterwards as well just to seal it. And is it like a wallpaper glue or something? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's, um, people use it for decoupage and yeah. Around and leave it on its back for a while. We're going to. There's our house. <laughs> Next stage, yeah, I do the house and then I cut out the back and then it is making the furniture. And that also depends on what the client would like. Um, 
this two bedroom house that we made. The lady wanted a kitchen and a bedroom. But they can say they want a sitting room or a bathroom, a playroom. Yeah, so depending on what the client wants, I then make the furniture. And for the furniture, I try to use the off cut woods because it's small, obviously. Um, yeah, and just reuse. Yeah. Let's go to Cape Town. I love buying in bulk. Um, How do you design the furniture? Sorry. Oh, that's come a long way. Um, I started um, with basic designs and I've learned since learned what works and what doesn't work and what breaks easily. Because for me, it needs to be, it needs to look good, but it also needs to last. Otherwise, it's useless. You've got um, some bedclothes and things that need sewing. Do you do the sewing yourself? I don't do the sewing. I cannot do sewing. I tried. Um, my 83-year-old grandmother does all the sewing for me. And like my houses, she makes every duvet she makes different. So it's not mass produced. It's one at a time, all made differently with lots of love. Most of the furniture is white, but then also depending on your background paper you chose, I will add some color. Um, normally two layers of paint, and then it's the decorating, which takes quite a long time. Um, that I all do different. I do little portraits for the walls, um, uh, carpets, um, sometimes I knit, sometimes I use material, um, yeah, the curtains as well, it's off cut pieces of material, cloth because it's small, um, I podge food stuff for the kitchen. Um, what does podge mean? Podge is just a basic way you can cut out any picture that you see in a magazine or a booklet and you stick it onto wood very securely and then you can saw it out. I've got boxes with stuff everywhere. Little box, washing basket, laundry basket. <laughs> I think that's yeah, it's fine for the closet.
What is the, what is that? A key holder? Yeah. Is that done? Now uh, the sink.
much done. Get the mop. And dust them. The placemat. Just stick them all on for the transport, otherwise everything will be loose. Hmm. Now all we need is curtains. Um,
And once the house is made and all the furniture is made and in painting done, how do you get the houses to your customers? I courier all over South Africa. Um, use mostly courier guy or ITT couriers. Um, I have not yet couriered overseas, but I'm sure that can be done as well. Um, unfortunately, these others can't be flat backed, but yeah, we just bubble wrap them really well.